our goal in response to the mechanical state of the tree, like the situation of living life, is now like I play soccer for like two weeks, and in two years, I become my bone becomes like my feet. You know that. But like, if I don't lose my bone, if I keep like say for a few months, I lose my bone. I lose my bone strength. So why is this important? Like, so we have patients who suffer from paralysis and are on like bed rest for a few months or a few years. Their bones become weak because they don't get the mechanical stimuli from each day to day activity. And especially for NASA, astronauts to do space research and do a lot of technical stuff in space, space microgravity conditions. And for them, they don't get the day to day loading of their bones to keep them. And hence, they lose bones. An astronaut who goes on into space for six months can lose up to 30% of his bone mass and can lead to conditions such as osteoporosis. So that's why the study on osteoporosis is important and what the effect it has on the mechanical parameters of bone. Uh, so, in our study, what we did was actually we wanted to mimic that condition. So, we used the rat model. Uh, so, we had one month of a uh, healthy rat which was feet walk, and we had rats which were suspended from the tail so that their hind limbs, so that the tibia bone is suspended in air and so it's facing microgravity conditions. So, uh, right now, the standard for analyzing bo- uh, osteoporosis is DEXA, which is the X ray. But, like, Bone is just not, uh, extra, uh, standardizes the minerals of the bone, but bone is just not minerals. It, is, it has proteins, it has a structure, it has the atmosphere of the So, if this is my bone, we want, we want to check the, how the micro the mechanical properties of the bone changes. So, if we have a tool such as a nano indentation, what it does is it has a nano indenter which you, you can indent the bone and it will tell you exactly the mechanical properties of that side of the bone. So with this technology, we can see how the uh, mechanical spatial distribution of a mechanical property changes inside the bone. So if we had a uh, tibia bone, or uh, uh, for a healthy rat, we indented the bone at a specific site, and then we loaded a bone and measured the spin value inside the bone. So for a healthy bone, what we got was that our spin value had used to have a spin value so that uh, there is no there is no spin gradient present on this orientation, and also they are sending for a mechanical value. But for a diffuse bone, for a diffuse rat, which was suspended, we got a change in our mechanical value along different orientations, which is different from our control bone. Hence, this could be a predictor for osteopenia and like osteoporosis, which is like a must between, and it goes on the micro level instead of the macro level properties. 